Good morning. Hope everyone's doing well. And get started in a second. So I wanted to um, just uh, come on live really quick and uh, share with you two very important things when it comes to uh, negotiating and maybe some uh, some bonus information. So I was uh, teaching a class uh, a few days ago to real estate brokers and agents. Uh, it's called Win Win Negotiating, and uh, I'm teaching it again in a few days actually. And I teach another class, a more comprehensive course called the Real Estate Negotiation Expert, which is the R E N E course um, that comes with a certification for real estate professionals. In my last win-win uh, negotiation class, uh, people thought it was really refreshing. Uh, they walked away with some really great ideas and perspectives on negotiating, they said, right? Um, and um, the audience there were, you know, real estate professionals from a handful of years in the business, the people that have been there 30 plus years in the business, 40 plus years in the business. Uh, I met a gentleman that's been in the real estate business for 60 plus years in that class. God bless him. Uh, that's a whole story for another day. He did tell me that I was not only a good instructor, but an excellent real estate instructor and uh, that I was a super nice guy. So I really appreciate him uh, for that. Um, I usually ask people, what is the one thing they took away from the class or the course? And I want to share with you two very important things when it comes to uh, negotiating, whether it's personal or business. I thought this might be applicable to real estate professionals, but really uh, anyone, right? And the two things are, number one is, what is really a negotiation, okay? And number two are two words uh, to keep top of mind when negotiating. And I'll give you some bonus information, right? So number one, what is a negotiation? Let me ask you, how would you define a negotiation? Like, how would you phrase a negotiation? What's a negotiation to you? Um, if someone was to ask you to describe what a negotiation is, how would you describe that? Here is one definition of a negotiation, and it's uh, three parts. Uh, negotiation is back and forth communication to reach a mutual agreement uh, between two or more parties where the parties have some things in common and some things they differ on, right? So three components here. One, it's communication. It's back and forth communication between two parties. And two, the goal of it is to reach a mutual agreement. Uh, the goal of it is not to, uh, to fight. Uh, to talk over one another, to show who's right, who's wrong, who's stronger, right? Uh, the goal is to reach a mutual agreement, and you want to keep that uh, top of mind and always proceed towards that. And number three, the parties have some things in common and some things they differ on. Uh, and a lot of times people dismiss the commonalities in the negotiation, and they spend a lot of time going back and forth trying to work out the differences uh, but you can really use the commonalities as building blocks to build, uh, you know, that rapport and to build that relationship to be able to work out the differences. Excuse me. So, again, a negotiation is back and forth communication, right? So there's communication that's happening. There is a strategy to it. There are tactics that are taking place in that communication. Two, with the goal to reach a mutual agreement. Again, that should be the focus of the negotiation. And three, the parties have some things in common and some things that are different. So in real estate, for example, you might have a, a buyer and a seller that agree on price, uh, but disagree on the terms, right? So the price, that's a big thing uh, to agree on. So you want to use that and emphasize that to build to then working out the differences. Uh, let me move on to the two words you want to keep top of mind for a negotiation. Uh, the two words are value and satisfaction, okay? Stay with me here, value and satisfaction. In a negotiation, what you're trying to do is give the other person enough value that they are satisfied, right? The goal of a negotiation is to really uh, put together a value package or an offer where the party uh, sees that it's valuable to them, they accept the offer and they are satisfied 
with that offer. So your objective is to figure out what's of value uh, to the other party so you can put together a great value package. And it's not just based on price. It's based on price. It's based on terms. So in a real estate transaction, all the terms you can negotiate in the agreement of sale or in the person's contract. And it's based on maybe additional things that are not even uh, contract terms, but you can add on as a bonus to essentially sweeten, sweeten the deal, right? So uh, what value package can you offer to the other party whereby they will be satisfied, but at the same time retain uh, sufficient value or the, the most value for your client, right? And make sure your client is satisfied. Uh, your objective, if you're a real estate professional like myself, for your clients is to secure the best possible outcome for your clients. And to do that, I have to really understand what my clients value uh, to make sure that I give them what they need, what they want, maybe the things that they wish for as well, right? And they are satisfied. And in doing so, I have to essentially give the other party uh, a great value where they buy, they are satisfied and they give us kind of what they want, right? So uh, the bonus thing is uh, when do we negotiate and who do we negotiate with? Essentially, we negotiate uh, on a daily basis with the people that we encounter. Uh, that can be our children, our spouses, our siblings, our parents. Uh, that can be negotiating with friends. In business, real estate business, for example, you negotiate with clients, uh, you negotiate with potential clients. Uh, you negotiate with other agents and brokers. Uh, you might negotiate directly with a seller, right? If you're essentially, uh, you know, working with someone that's a for sale by owner or someone who's unrepresented, uh, you might negotiate with your team leader or your broker. Or, and if you're a team leader and a, or a broker, you might be negotiating with professionals on, on your team. So we negotiate essentially on a daily basis. Uh, we negotiate with a lot of different people. Uh, whether in business or in our personal lives. So again, just to recap the things to keep top of mind, uh, one is really the definition of a negotiation and that's back and forth communication, right? Um, to reach a mutual agreement where the parties have some things in common and some things that are uh, different. And so you want to really keep in mind the, the definition of a negotiation as you're negotiating. And the second thing is two words to keep top of mind is value and satisfaction. And I think we hammered those points enough. All right. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. I uh, just wanted to get on quick, hopefully give you something of value. Uh, you have a great day. Thank you.